All right, now this is really one of the most important steps that there is in this process. Because if you don't do this right, you're going to be hating it. You're going to have to take and chisel out that epoxy once it hardens. This is where the paste wax comes in. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to take a smear of this with our fingers. And we're going to rub it around on the intake ports on the inside. Be generous with it. More the merrier. Because what we're about to do is the next stage is we're going to put a silicone plug in here. Now, really, the silicone won't stick to the wax. Neither will the resin. So... <coughs> excuse me so you want to take it take your time and do this right and we're going to fill it up you see what happens is inside the intake pass it comes like this and then goes back out again so what we want to do is we want to catch that part at the top but not where it starts to widen out because if the if the plug goes in there that far it ain't coming out of there period i don't care what you do um well not without badly destroying it so i'm smearing up it doesn't take much okay like about that much right there is all it takes to do one of the cylinder walls. Um, there are exceptions to that rule, of course, but that's about all it takes. You want to make sure the divots are filled so that the plug comes out there easily. Now, what, the first inch on these are perfectly fine. That's all we need for our, for our final casting is one inch. One little inch. And that's going to make all the difference in the world. And I'm feeling on this one here because these ports have a bubble, and that's what my limitation is. So it looks like we're only going to be able to get about half an inch on this, maybe maybe a little bit more, but probably not. Uh, but that should be enough for us to do what we're going to do. So we'll come on down here and we'll just smear this up. Smear it up real good, real good light. I'm going to make that happy head. I know this flies in the face of everything, but I'll tell you what, I have run uh, V8 engines off of a 1 8 inch diamond hole at the throttle plate so uh, trust me when I tell you the engines do not need as much air as they're being fed they feed it more air then they have to add more fuel to make up for it all right so now I think that's pretty well cut it feels like it it does it really does we we'll check them all because if you miss a spot that's where the res rosin is going to bind bind to the intake port and you won't like the results of that okay so now remember those little bubbles i was telling you about i'm putting in wax underneath them so in the event that anything gets stuck there it won't get stuck there you won't cast around the part we want to cast um we want to cast where we can get it out okay Pretty doggone good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera over here and show you. I'll get you up on a tripod, but as you can see what's going on. All right, first you see the plastic. When you're done, you'll just be able to pull this out. It'll pull out like an accordion. Now, that's all four of the valves done that way. And up here we have the intake ports, and they are. Let me back you up here. Oh, wrong way. Okay. So you see how the there's got a little bubble right there. You see that? So now, um, see if I can back up, get a better focus on this. Um, but that, that, that's what we do, we just fill that in with uh, wax so we don't get any rosin or any silicone underneath that. See, you can see how it's done. All right, so on that note, now I'm going to go get my silicone. Be back to you in a second. 